Hello everyone, the pilot episode of The Amazing Digital Circus already has 157 million views and still no news on the second episode. I'm just shy of 20,000 subscribers, so help me out. I think many people have wondered what the long-awaited second episode of Digital Circus will be like, but the most interesting thing is, will there be a new character in the next episode, and if so, what will he look like? And also, will he appear as an additional resident of the circus or will he be replaced by one of the existing characters? And if he is replaced, who will be the unfortunate one who will turn into a monster? All the answers to these questions, and not only these questions, you will get in this video. Because on it, as on all my videos, a lot of work was done to compare all the facts and combine them into a coherent picture. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Here we go. As you and I may have noticed, new characters appear quite unexpectedly, both for the newcomer and for those already living in the circus. But I've always wondered why there's an even number of them, even though this detail seems unimportant. After watching this video to the end, you'll realize that whether the number of residents is even or odd basically determines the likelihood of a new character appearing. At this point, we already have Pomni, Jax, Zubal, and others. We won't consider Kane and his handheld robot Bubble because they are not residents, but a full-fledged part of a huge project like the Digital Circus. At the moment, we have six characters, but is it possible that there will be more? Imagine if there are 10 characters living in the Digital Circus at the same time. What if there are 20? What if there are 30? Well, I was joking about 20 or 30, but 10 is quite realistic. As we all know, since the release of the pilot episode, there has been a theory floating around the internet that a completely new character is coming to replace the abstracted character. The writers themselves haven't officially stated this, but the situation with Pomni and Kaufmo that you and I witnessed gives us confidence in this theory. As soon as Kaufmo disappeared, it was Pomni who was immediately in the digital circus. Some might say that this is just a coincidence. On the one hand, I agree with you completely. Coincidences happen often in our lives, but what if it is not? And if it's not a coincidence, is it possible to say that Kane was somehow involved? Remember that when Pomni entered the digital circus, no one knew that Kaufmo as it was known before no longer existed. Could this mean that Kaufmo is actually alive and more than six characters can live in our digital circus at the same time? I think we will find out more in the new episodes. I would also like to mention the characters that once lived in the digital circus, but have long since been abstracted. In fact, they are also a big mystery, because none of us have any idea what happened to them before the digital circus and before they became abstracted monsters. However, there is one character in the digital circus who knows absolutely everything that went on in the circus long before Pomni arrived, and that's Kinger. This strange and somewhat frightening chess piece has lived in the circus longer than anyone else, and it is most likely Kinger who has seen the fate of every one of those mysterious characters whose pictures are crossed out on the door. But it's not their fate we're interested in, it's their number and the order in which they're removed. I think in the Kinger series we are shown this, or at least told about it. In case you didn't know, in Digital Circus, every new series is dedicated to a character, as you and I have noticed. Over the years in Amazing Digital Circus, a huge number of different characters lived, and most likely their life was a cycle. Let's say a character disappeared and was replaced by a new one. Now remember what I said about odd and even numbers. To this we must add the story of the poor clown Kaufmo, for he will be the defining and most important part of this video so far. Let's back up a bit and remember that there are now six characters living in the circus. That's an even number, and that's what's going to be defining. And if the circus must have an even number of characters, then if Kaufmo is alive, we will have a new character. In that case, the total number of characters will be eight. But if Kaufmo is really no longer a resident of the circus, then our chances of seeing a new character are greatly reduced, if not eliminated. It's a bit of a stretch to say that the number of characters will be even or not, but if you think about it, we were originally shown six characters, and if we're going to increase the number of characters, it's going to be from even to even, because you don't know what the plot is going to be next. Maybe Kane will come up with a task where the residents have to work in pairs. A very large number of people believe that Kaufmo is still alive and just hidden somewhere in the circus, and the transformation into an abstract monster is some kind of illusion by Kane or someone higher up. This means that the new character has a good chance of appearing. I hope I didn't break your brain trying to explain this confusing and long chain of thought, but beyond that, I have some sad news for you. I think not many of you follow Gooseworks, who is the main author of this indie animated series. So it was Gooseworks who explained that originally Kaufmo was going to be in the series in his original form, because we even have his full 3D model. But while writing the final version of the script, it was decided that it was necessary to get rid of Kaufmo because there are already a lot of characters. And this leads us to believe that all of this is complete nonsense and there will be no new characters. That's what I thought at first, but if you watched the pilot episode of Digital Circus in my videos, you know that this work has a huge number of clues, secret meanings, references, riddles, and everything else. 
This prevents Gooseworks from confusing us a bit this time around to surprise us even more in the future. But I'll say it again, it's Kaufmo who decides if there will be a new character or not. If Kaufmo is alive, then yes, it is very likely that you will see another important character in the story, and if Kaufmo is no longer with us, then unfortunately the chance of someone else appearing is close to zero. But this means that the new character will appear as an addition to the ones already living in the circus, because if one of them finally goes crazy and abstracted, in that case we will 100% see a new character. Because despite the fate of Kaufmo, the golden rule of the circus is not going anywhere. And the golden rule is, if one of the circus inhabitants is abstracted, someone else immediately takes his place. I also think that if the next episode is dedicated to Kinger, we will be able to understand the whole mechanism of getting people into the digital circus. Let's imagine a situation in which we will definitely see a new character, regardless of whether Kaufmo is alive or not, and try to understand what might happen. Let me remind you that in the case of the abstracted Kaufmo, Pomni immediately took his place. It was as if it happened automatically, because no one even had time to realize anything. So we need to find out who the new character can replace and when it will happen. I think that Gooseworks and Glitch will not hesitate with such a twist, which means that we should expect a similar situation in the next episode, which will be the second one. It has been officially announced that the third episode will focus on Zubal, which means that we won't be able to consider her as a candidate to become an abstracted monster. You could say that Jax would be the most unexpected choice, but since he has become so popular with all Digital Circus fans, his disappearance could be bad for the entire amazing Digital Circus universe, which also makes us realize that Jax will be with us until the end of the first season. It would be foolish to change Pomni, because she is the main character who, unlike all the others, has a specific goal, to get out of this digital horror. Also in favor of the fact that Pomni will remain with us until the end, and at the same time in favor of the fact that we will change some of the characters says the number of episodes in Season 1 of Amazing Digital Circus. According to Gooseworks' statement, there are 8 episodes planned for Season 1, exactly the same number of episodes in each of the projects in which the animation team Glitch participated. The first episode was about Pomni, and we have 6 characters in total, so the remaining 5 episodes will tell us the fate of each of them. But there are still 2 episodes to go. The last episode I think will be about how Pomni's story ends in the circus. We'll see if she can get out, or if she finally goes crazy, and in that case there will be another episode where we'll be told about someone we haven't seen yet. So we wait with impatience and follow all the news related to the digital circus. Got a little distracted, now let's move on. Ragatha shows no signs of going mad anytime soon, while Kinger and Gangle walk on the edge of the abyss called abstraction. But unlike Gangle, who is just sad and whinny all the time, Kinger is really on the edge that separates him from becoming an abstract monster. Perhaps the next series will be dedicated to this chess piece called Kinger. We will be shown his past, how he came to such a state, maybe he will reveal all the secrets related to his wife. And the final point of his life in the series will be his transformation into an abstracted monster, which means that in the next episode we will be able to see a new character that will remotely resemble Kinger, because Kaufmo and Pomni are both employees of the entertainment industry. One of them is a clown, and the other is a jester. Well, if the abstraction of characters has nothing to do with the appearance of new ones, then I think that in each series, we will be able to see some new characters, which unfortunately will not be the main ones, but will go as an addition to the story of the main character. In this case, none of those we have already seen will be subjected to the terrible phenomenon that happened to Kaufmo. Finally, I would like to say that we will definitely see someone new in our favorite series, but for now we don't know exactly under what circumstances. What do you think? Will there be a new character, and who will he replace or not at all? Write your opinion in the comments. I think it will be very interesting for all of us. Well, now it's time to wish you good luck and success, and say see you soon in the new videos that appear on the channel every two days.